In this class, we will be seeing four applications of multi rate signal processing and what are the advantages of multi rate signal processing or multi rate processing. So, you have understood what is multi rate signal processing? The processing of a discrete time signal at different sampling rates in different parts of a system is called multi rate signal processing. Okay, so, where do we find this application? First one is sub band coding of speech signals and image compression. So, first application is sub band coding. The second one is in digital trans multiplexers, in digital trans multiplexers for converting TDM signal to FDM, TDM signal to FDM conversion. What is TDM? Time division multiplexed signal, FDM is frequency division multiplexed signal. The third one is in digital audio systems, the sampling rates of broadcasted signal CD that is compact disc, MPEG signals are different, the sampling rates of these signals are different. Hence to access the signals from all these devices sampling rate converters are needed in digital audio system. So, in a digital audio system we may be may be using broadcasted signal the CD or MPEG. So, we need signal conversion sampling rate converters. The fourth one is in video broadcasting, in video broadcasting the American American broadcasting system name is NTSC. In video broadcasting the American that is NTSC and European standard PAL employs different sampling rates that is the American broadcasting sim system is NTSC and European standard is PAL. So, these are at different sampling rates hence to receive both the signals. If you want to get American video broadcasting as well as European video broadcasting, so we need sampling rate converters in our video receivers. So, we say in video broadcasting the American NTSC and European standard PAL employ different sampling rates. Hence to receive both the signals sampling rate converters are needed in radio receivers. The four main applications of multi rate signal processing are sub band coding, digital trans multiplexer for converting TDM to FDM signals in digital audio systems in video broadcasting systems. The advantages of multi